Well, hello, little dragon. If you're watching this video, that probably means that you need a little bit of help signing up for a Google Classroom account. Well, you're in just the right place. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go to gmail.com, which should give you a screen looking like this. And you should do one of two things. You should either sign in or create an account, okay? Now, if you know your account, by all means, just sign in right now and you should use your school account for this. By the way, if you're wondering who Maria Martinez is, that's my wife. I don't have an alter ego named Maria. That's not me. She uses my computer sometimes. Whatever, that's not the point. So either you can go to sign in or you can create an account. Now, if you haven't created an account before, well, what you should do is create that account now. All you need is a few pieces of information. Uh, for example, you put in your first and last name. Please put your real first and last name. And then the way we do this at um, UPCHS is we create our names by just using the first letter of our first name, our last name. So I'd be B Siegel. That's B, my the first letter of my first name, Siegel, and then 600. So that would be your new Gmail account if you haven't already made it during Summer Bridge. So remember the first letter of your first name, your last name, and 600. Then you pick out your password. I'm going to pick my super secret password that I love to use. Let's hope that it's not taken. It's not taken. All right, now you'll put your phone number in. I won't do that because I don't want you to see it. You put a recovery email address that you know, uh, just in case you forget your password. Happens. You put your birthday in. Now, if you want some brownie points, you can remember what my birthday is. 1984, do the math. How old am I? Um, you can choose to show your gender or not, and then you have yourself an account. Uh, remember, you could skip all these steps, obviously, if you already have your account. But now that you got your Gmail account, it's setting it up, and you are in. Well, look at this. Well, temporary error, ain't that the truth? Okay, so now you're in. Now, how do you set up your Google Classroom uh, account? Well, what you'll do is, you'll see if you go to more, there'll be this, sorry, I went a little bit too fast there. You see these nice little squares right here? All you gotta do is click all of these beautiful little squares. There's like nine of them. And you won't see it here, but if you go to more, you should see this Google Classroom right here. But if you don't see it, like sometimes that icon doesn't pop up, you can also just Google Google Classroom. So if you Google Classroom, you could also just click it here and you'll end up in the same spot. So you can either Google it or click this, see, same place. Now, to join a classroom, all you have to do as follows. You see where it says create or join your first class? Click that. We're going to Join a class, we're not creating a class. When you join a class, all you need is the correct class code. So if you go back to the document that you're working from, you'll see each period has its own class code. So just think to yourself, what period is this right now? If it's period one, use this code. If it's period two, use this code, got it? So we're gonna join period, I'm gonna join period one, you join the appropriate period, it's 1KU861Y, 1KU86Y, Biggity bam. And look at this. I joined my my creative coding class. You'll see we already have your first assignment here. Well, it's not really an assignment. It's really just a survey to get to know you. Um, and you're in. So in Google Classroom, this is where you will be both getting assignments, getting documents, getting code, and submitting assignments back to me. We're going to try to be as paperless as possible. So this is going to be a wonderful place for us to uh, pass back uh information, documents, work. It's a wonderful place. It's a wonderful place. It's the future, man. We're here. Um, so yeah, once you've got yourself signed in, you'll see that the second thing you have to do is fill out this form. So go ahead, go here. Let's just start filling out that form. All right, good luck, guys. And don't forget, when you get home, kiss your mother because she loves you very much. And she is a wonderful woman for raising you. Okay, don't forget to appreciate your mom. Bye.